Come on, everybody. Are we really surprised that Tana Mojo screwed up Tana Khan? Like, imagine if I would just, like, change my whole name to, like, Tan Tan Moj. <laughs> This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I try to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And some exciting news. This morning, the first mental health email blast went out. So if you're signed up on my mailing list, go check it out. I sent out the first email and it's just about how to deal with negative thoughts. And the title of the email is Don't Trust Your Thoughts. So check that email out. I will have a link to the actual email that you can like just click on or you can sign up because I'm gonna try to do these at least a few times a week. Totally free, a little extra mental health motivation to kickstart your day. All right, so anyways, this is a video I've wanted to make for a while. Yes, I know the TanaCon thing is over even though Michael White's video came out not that long ago. But this is something I've wanted to talk about for a while and there's some very important mental health lessons to be learned. So a lot of you, I don't know what happened. YouTube works in such mysterious ways. A lot of you have found me through my Tana Mojo uh, abusing prescription medications video. I made that back in February. So anyways, for those of you who watched that video and you're now here, let me correct two things. Yeah, I screwed up. I meant Lil Peep passed away not Lil Pump. The second correction from that video is that I said Lil Peep passed away from a Xanax overdose. And a lot of you have been oh so kind to correct me and say that it was fentanyl. His Xanax was laced with fentanyl. Now listen to me very carefully, okay? Like, first off, first off, <laughs> that video was made before the toxicology report was uh, sent out. But second off, this is part of the stigma with substance abuse and overdoses. Like, I don't care. I don't care what it was laced with. I do not care if Lil Peep overdosed on unicorn pee. The truth of the matter is, is that this dude passed away from substance abuse, all right? But I see this all the time, and it's something I just wanna vent about, because like people are like, oh, they didn't die from, uh, you know, Percocets, they died from, you know, uh, shooting up heroin, or whatever it is. You guys, people are dying from drugs, okay? Everybody knew Lil Peep was doing drugs, then he died of drugs. And that actually is something that we're talking about in this video. like. People were surprised. People were surprised that Lil Peep died, right? And like, why? His music was about getting loaded, right? His music was about abusing substances. Everybody in his life abused substances. Like, that's something that's really sad to me. Working in the addiction treatment field, like when people are surprised that someone they knew was abusing medications or abusing substances of any kind, then they die, like, what are you surprised about? And that's what I wanna talk about with Tana. Like, how are we surprised that she screwed up TanaCon? Like, is anybody really surprised? Like, let's just lay out the facts real quick. And by the way, this isn't a video like trying to spill the tea or anything like that. Like, I'm gonna tell you, because a lot of you are getting caught off guard by some really dumb stuff that shouldn't be happening. The signs are there, all right? So Tana Mojo, let's think about her. What is her career made off of? All right, her career is made off of a lot of videos and story times about crazy situations happening. He f***ed me with a toothbrush. And everything going to crap, right? Like that's what her reputation is built off of. Then her reputation is also built off of exaggerated stories and lies, immaturity. He walks up to me and he kind of like locks his arm around me, like around my neck like this. And it, it wasn't like it was like a chokehold or anything. It was, it was very like firm and like tight. Like okay, like this is who we're talking about here. Then she actually has a hit song that she made titled Cause I'm a f up and I'm so f up And all these voices in my head won't shut the f up Cause I'm a f up and I'm so f up And it's 5pm and I just woke the f up Then this young woman tries to plan a VidCon level event in a month and people are shocked that it didn't turn out well. Like, let's put the pieces together, people. Like, was anybody really that shocked? All right, I think it was Megan Tonjes who, who talked about it post TanaCon. Ask questions, please. Know that there's more than one person to get in contact with if something goes wrong, because it's probably gonna go wrong. That's the rule of running a conference. And you shouldn't have to be tweeting out, hey, is my panel still today? Is my performance still today? And then just hearing crickets. I'm like, are you guys really that surprised? You know, 
So funny story, Tristan and I were actually in LA for my birthday that weekend, and we were contemplating going to TanaCon because we heard Shane Dawson was gonna be there, but instead, we went to Corgi Beach Day. Much better decision, all right? But like, when we were driving back, we were listening to all the TanaCon nonsense, and we're like, oh my God, like, yeah, I'm not surprised. But again, this isn't about Tana. This is about you. Listen, listen, listen. This is something that like I have a lot of experience with. See, like there was Tana's video that has kind of been swept under the rug, but it was when Tana and her friend found somebody who had overdosed, which was awful. Um, it was similar to the Logan Paul situation. But anyways, like Tana makes this video about like only us, only us, the craziest things only happen to us, right? I used to think that way. I used to think the craziest situations only happen to me. Why does everything go to crap around me? And it was my fault. It was my fault. Like you guys, I hung around a lot of scumbag people so guess what happened? A lot of scumbag things happened to me, right? I hung around people who were into lying, cheating, and stealing, so when they lie or cheated or stole from me, how can I act shocked? How can I act surprised? These are the people that I'm hanging out with. Like, that is the type of person they are, right? I think I mentioned it in a Jeffree Star video. Like, if you're hanging around a bunch of people who are into drama and gossip, don't be surprised when they gossip about you. Like, think about this. Your choices and who you're hanging out with, who you decide to follow, why are you so shocked when something happens? Like, a great example is I've known countless people who have got into a relationship with somebody they, that they met who was cheating, right? So let's say a guy cheated on his girlfriend with this girl and they got together and now they're all in love and they're gonna have a relationship. Then next thing you know, the guy cheats on her and she is flabbergasted, just straight flabbergasted. Do people use the word flabbergasted anymore, Tristan? Flabbergasted, right? Like, how are you surprised? You met this guy through a cheating act and now you think it's gonna be different with you. Like, I know we, we hang around people who are like, oh, they're wild, they're zany, they like to do crazy stuff, they like to go party, they like to do this. Like, if that's what you're into, like, I'm not saying like, hey, don't get me wrong, like, if, if that's your thing and you wanna hang out with those type of people, go for it. But don't act shocked. Don't act shocked when these things happen. Like, something that I teach my, my clients, like, in treatment, is, is to look for the signs. Like, especially when it comes to drug addiction and recovery, you see a relapse happening miles away. Like, part of my position was to talk to people after they relapsed, right? Or I would, but mainly I was trying to help them so to prevent a relapse. But people would call me up. People would call me up month, two months, three months after treatment, and I'll make up a name here. They'd be like, oh my God, Chris, 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 did you, did you hear, did you hear? John relapsed. I'm like, oh, did he? Okay, I'll try to reach out to him. They're like, yeah, I just, don't get it, it's just such a shock, it's such a surprise. And I'm like, really? Really, you mean the guy who slept through like every single group? You mean the guy who didn't take this seriously? You mean to tell me that that guy, that guy relapsed? Color me surprised, right? Like, this is what I'm trying to say. So like, when people are like, were shocked that Tana Mojo and TanaCon failed, like, what are you talking about? That's who she is. She is that person. You know, like I know like, you know, Shane said it when he interviewed her, like, you know, she shouldn't even be allowed to like organize like a birthday party. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, why would you put anything in her hands? But how many other things are you doing like that? How many, how many times are you putting your, your faith or trust or expectations in somebody? Like there's something where if somebody keeps letting you down and you keep putting your faith in them, like eventually it's your fault. Like, I'm sorry to say that, but it kind of goes that saying, Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? You know, to just put this into more perspective, because I know I got some parents out there. I'll tell, I, I teach this to my son. My son's about to turn 10 years old. My son plays a game called Fortnite. Some of you might've heard of it. And he, he likes to play in a game, uh, in a mode called playground mode with his friends. And he does that. And some of his friends in there, they do stuff and you know, it makes Dylan upset. And like, it's his same friends and like, Dylan would get upset about it. And then he comes to cry to me about it. And I'm like, Dylan, you know that's what they do. Every time you go in, they do that to you. I'm like, so how do you want me to sympathize with you when you know that that's what they do? 
right? But think about that. Like, I have to teach that to my 10-year-old son. Like, what are you doing? You have way more logic and experience than my 10-year-old son. Quit hanging out with the people who are hurting you or screwing you over. Quit putting faith and expectations on people who are hurting you and screwing you over, okay? Leave that guy or leave that girl who keeps screwing up in your relationship. How many of you have waited around for someone to change, right? Like, it's not surprising when this thing happens. That's why sobriety is such a shock. When a drug addict doesn't use drugs, that is amazing. You know what I mean? But oftentimes when somebody relapses, I'm like, hmm, that's what drug addicts do. You know what I mean? But anyways, I just wanted to use this as a point of reference. Like, quit being shocked when crazy stuff happens to people living a crazy life, all right? Like, speaking of crazy, just last example, last example. I used to, and some people don't like when I say this, but anyways, I used to have a type. My type used to be crazy women, right? I would love dating crazy women. But when crazy shit happened, I'd be shocked by it. But when you date crazy people, crazy stuff happens. That's why I got my beautiful Tristan sitting right over here. You know, no more crazy stuff happens. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, let me know. Let me know, know down in the comments below. Like, do you have people who are like this, like Tana, who keep messing up and then other people are shocked? Are you shocked? Did this video provide you with some clarity where the person who keeps doing these things, that's just the type of person they are and you no longer can be shocked about it? Let's have a conversation down in the comments below if you can relate, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon and everybody over on Patreon who is in the $5 tier and up. There is some brand new exclusive content up there for you, so go check it out. And if you would like to join and be a patron, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. Get better friends, and I'll see you next time.